Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Bobby Hamilton's Kodak Advantix system Chevy from 1999. Let's take a quick look at the box. Got some actual artwork. Got Bobby Hamilton, Bobby Hamilton's signature number four. Got Kodak Advantix system with their logo. Action Racing Collectibles, same stuff. A little bit of design of the car, same stuff. They made a total of 3,504 of these. And copyright and such on the bottom. Here is the car itself, and it is looking fantastic. This is always one of my favorite special Kodak paint schemes. He races in the 1999 Daytona 500 and didn't fare too well. He got involved in a wreck about midway through the race, if I remember correctly. I don't think he ever ran another place, but which is definitely a shame because it is a beautiful car. Something about the reverse cars I've always looked. Like, you know, because normally the Kodak car is yellow with a little bit of red and some black, where this one's black with a little bit of some yellow and some red. But, you know. Pretty nice car. Let's do a quick 360 of the car, as usual. Kodak really never had that many special paint schemes, up until they got to like their Penske days and they started to do like a bunch of like movies and stuff, but this is one of their first actual special paint schemes. They ran one like in like the 90s with the uh, early 90s, there was like a white one with Sterling Marlin. I don't know if that really counts as standard or just a secondary, but you know. This is their first real colorful special paint scheme. Let's get down to the sponsors on the hood. You have Kodak Advantix System, Chevy Monte Carlo number four. Down the side, you have Kodak Advantix System. Got Land Air and got a ton of sponsors back here GM Performance Parts, Bowman, Mac Tools, Crane Arms, MM, Fell Pro, Lincoln Welders. Just a ton back there. I'm probably going to miss a few, but you know, you can see them all right there. On the C post, you have Dana and Kodak, and on the B post, you have Global Week Care and AC Delco. On the back, you have that same, oh, by m, m that's what I meant, Morgan McClure, not the candy. <laughs> Morgan McClure Racing, Advantix System, Kodak. On the deck lid, Advanced Photo System. Got the same stuff down the other side, as usual. Take a look under the hood. See that it just says Kodak Advantix System. That can even show up. There's the engine detail if you would like to see it. Take a look under the deck lid. You got your typical fuel cell and such back there. There's the underside of the car if you would like to see it. Nice solid black base. Some of these cars are kind of sloppy on the underside. See, there's a lot of like chipping and weird like paint issues on the bottom of these cars a lot for some reason. Here is this thing next to the 164 scale. As you can see, you can get it from action in both scales. I believe Team Caliber also made this. I want to say theirs didn't have red wheels or something of that nature, but... Either way, it's a beautiful paint scheme, and I would say I'd definitely recommend picking it up. This is just one of those examples of, like, you know, there's a lot of fantastic paint schemes from, like, the late 90s, early 2000s that just you can get so cheap, because that was back when they overproduced everything, so you can get a lot of cars for, like, 10, 20 bucks, and a lot of these are such awesome paint schemes. It's a great way to build your collection and just look at that kind of era of NASCAR, because you can get beautiful paint schemes like this really cheap. I mean, if you actually care about die cash, you're not with people's only buying for value, because then you're not going to like these things that aren't worth anything. But there's a nice paint scheme, and I love picking up these kind of cars. There's something about late 90s paint schemes where just like they were starting to get into like the true special paint schemes and such, and they were actually kind of trying in their special paint schemes. <laughs> so, maybe it's a really cool die cast. But I think that's pretty much all there's to say. This has been a review of Bobby Hamilton's Kodak Advantix System Chevy from 1999. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.